Okay. I am attempting to sit down and film this video with like 30% on my camera battery. So I'm a little bit crazy for that, let's just say. Anyways, hello you guys. Happy spring. Happy spring. Welcome back to my channel if you are not new and just welcome if you are. In today's video, we are filling up some Easter baskets. I am so excited. I love filming this video every year. It's become like a tradition over the last several years so you can go back and look many years down the line you guys can look back at all my other videos from years past to see what i put in my kids easter baskets every year and this year i'm excited to do it and it's the last time i'll fill two easter baskets because we are currently expecting baby number three literally in 30 days so <laughs> this will be the last time that i filled just two easter baskets so it's somewhat bittersweet this year and yeah let's just get into what i got them you are gonna hear it's gonna sound like a zoo up there because my house is a zoo <laughs> it's just how it is when you have two little kids running around all the time anywho okay so i went to a few So I went to a few different places for my kids' Easter basket stuff. I did order some things, and there is something that didn't make it here for this video because I was like, if I wait, it's going to be damn near Easter by the time this video comes out if I wait for that one item to come. So I'll just throw up a picture of what it looks like. But I tried my best to do small shop items. I love to support my small shops. You know, just kind of do a mix of small shop and in-store things if you guys have a world market next to you that is the place that i chose to go to if you don't know what world market is so i went to a few different places to get the kids easter basket stuff mainly just world market and online actually so that's it i went to world market to grab a few things to put in their easter baskets if you don't know what world market is it's like a small it's not like a small store but i don't know how to explain it they just have the goods okay they have really good cute little things to put for Easter and Christmas. I go there for stocking stuffers. They have really cute like home decor if you're into more like of a modern home decor. So World Market is really cute and has a lot of good finds that I absolutely love to go there for almost every holiday, every season. Their Easter baskets are from the farmer's market, my local farmer's market, but you can't find these on Amazon. They're like an African wheatgrass basket with a leather handle. It is, they are so nice. They are so, so nice. And you can get them wet and shape them however you want. You can wash them. They're very, very durable baskets, as well as the company that, the little company that made these baskets support women in Africa. And I absolutely love that. So they make them literally in Africa and ship them on over. And by buying one, you're supporting jobs for women in Africa, which I absolutely love. So anywho, I have little grass in here already, little Easter grass. It's just paper that I've had for like the last five years that I just save every time. It's like white and brown that have come from other packages and Easter grass that I bought a very long time ago, like for real, like five years or something. It's been a long time, three years, something like that. I've just been accumulating these little papers so I don't have to buy them when it comes time to do any kind of a gift basket i like to give random gift baskets to friends and stuff too so it's nice just to have like filling on hand and i do not want to have to buy this stuff every time because it's expensive and we don't want to be wasteful so at the end we'll fill the baskets together but i wanted to go through all the things that i'm putting in their baskets this year all right i got the bag of goodies and i don't know should i go in any particular order probably not i'm just gonna start pulling from the bag honestly all right i will try to leave links down below if i can find links for some of this stuff from world market as well as the online stuff the small shop stuff that i ordered as well all the links will be down below that i can find okay None of them are affiliated to, by the way. Okay, so the first thing I just grabbed is this Huckleberry Make Your Own Pressed Flower Frame Art. This is gonna be for my girl. She is four years old, almost five this year, and she's really girly. She's really into anything really cute and girly, so I thought she would really like this. This was $8.99. 
and she can press her own little flowers come to think of it i could have easily probably made her my own little kit but honestly it was it wasn't that bad 8.99 but honestly you could make one of your own really simple a little flower pressing kit but i already saw this and i just thought it was cute to grab and put in her little basket i love this brand huckleberry um supports children and nature network which i really like and i just i love their little packaging and their brand so i got her that i like to do a mixture of toys and treats and like little activity things for their baskets i don't like to buy like a whole bunch of candy and little junk that is just gonna get thrown away and i really like to be intentional about what i am gifting my kids for every single season all right since we just talked about huckleberry i thought this was really cute for my son who is five this is make your own grass whistle i thought this was so clever and cool my kids love the outdoors they're very like outdoorsy kids and they love to play outside so i thought they would absolutely love this he gets to make a whistle out of grass a little grass whistle i thought this was so cool and this was 5.99 so not too bad okay also from world market i got them these were 4.99 these cute they've been asking for little little eggs to put ah, little eggs to put can you guys see little eggs to put treats in so I thought this would be fun because they've seen them in the stores and I was hoping we can reuse these maybe every year they were $4.99 each so I got both of these one's a little rooster and then a bunny and some chicks. So cute. So cute. So I'm gonna put one in each basket. I got them each a book because my kids love to read. We are a homeschooling family. And we've been collecting the Beatrix Potter books for a while, but believe it or not, I thrifted a whole bunch of the collection, but did not find the actual Peter Rabbit book. It didn't come with it, of course. So. <laughs> I got the Peter Rabbit book. I got the Peter Rabbit book and then I got the Flopsy Bunny book. Is it that? Yeah. The Tale of Flopsy Bunny because they, it also didn't have this one in the collection that I was able to thrift. So I thought this was so cute. I am such a big fan of Beatrix Potter and her books they are simple reads depending on the story like some of them can be a little bit longer which is kind of hard to hold kids attention but if you break it up over a few days um they're not too hard to read but they do i think have a series where it's better for like little little kids that have a shorter attention span but yeah such a big fan of her books they're so classic they're very wholesome super cute this the cover does come off of these though if you order off of Amazon so just be mindful of that so it'll look like this when you take off the cover because my kids do destroy the covers I mean I try to save the covers for a later time and just give them the book with the blue cover because I don't want them to ruin the actual cover so we got them each a little book all right and then to go with their cute little bunny books i thought these were so adorable i got this melee i believe that's how you say it bunny or rabbit and come on like the outfit is so cute my kids love their stuff it's a cute little small shop their outfits are just adorable and we don't have any of the bunnies yet and i've always wanted to get them one and this is size two because they have a whole bunch of different sizes but yeah so i each got them a cute little bunny that i know they're gonna adore we have a whole bunch of the little mice and they love these and these are size two so they're not as small as the mice but you can get i think up to size five which is crazy that is super big and this one has cute little overalls <laughs> cute little overalls that have a carrot on it how cute is that so 
got them each a little bunny for their basket all right next up i got them some more sunglasses because my daughter broke her other ones and i think they were the exact same ones but we really like these i thought these were really cute and this one is a new color for us but i think we got i think we had the tortoisey like ones before they're so cute and they're so little my kids use these a lot obviously in the summer so got them a cute little pair of glasses that will match their little swimsuits really well i cannot believe that we're already in spring and summer like that is insane where did the time go all right something else i got them all this stuff that i think i'm about to show you now is from world market and this is a bunny froth bath bomb with french lavender essential oils and it is supposed to be naturally derived and clean ingredients so it's in the shape of a bunny if you guys can tell it's so cute i got them each one and i thought they were adorable my kids love to take baths that's really all they take so i thought one of these would be perfect bath bombs are so much fun got them each one of those sleeve falling down and also if you're new here i love my non-toxic products so finding a bath bomb that is non-toxic natural ingredients is a huge win for me i absolutely love that and along with that i found some play-doh some non-toxic play-doh um and i thought this was really cute this is by land of dough if you've watched my other videos in the past i believe maybe two years in a row we did land of dough which is a small shop uh, we got land of dough the last few years i don't think we did last year but i absolutely love their play-doh how cute <laughs> how cute so it's green and pink and glittery and it comes in like a reusable little tube you can check them out they are and they are a small shop but now they're in world market which is crazy i was really surprised to see these little tubes of play-doh i don't think they're normally in world market this one is pink and has a cute little flower so this one will be for my girl i thought that was so adorable and it's all natural ingredients i believe with land of dough which is really nice handcrafted usa with natural colors and ingredients and compostable glitter so we love that contains wheat not for eating but yes land of dough play-doh in these little tubes i thought that was cute i've never seen that before but they are a small shop and somehow they've made it into world market so i thought that was great wanted to support that but you can order them online and usually they come in like a little cute reusable like box it's they're they're so cute you gotta check out land of dough they have a ton of different designs and for every like season they're so adorable and also they come with like a little wooden scooper when you buy from the actual company and they have like rainbow swirls and all kinds of really fun colors when you scoop into the play-doh as well as a fun design and glitter and stuff on top highly recommend i am so out of breath this pregnancy well we are only like we're almost 30 days away so that would probably explain it <laughs> i feel like mary poppins just grabbing stuff never a new bag okay so they each are gonna get a little they're each gonna get two little finger puppets i thought these were so cute so we have like a pig and a little dog and they're knit they're so cute and these are also from world market so i got those two and another little piggy and i think this is a kitty they had more on their website but these are the only ones they had in store but i thought they were so cute so this one's gray and like a pinky color i thought these were really different and really fun so we have that we have like little hand knit puppets that also would make for a really cute easter basket filling But yeah, we also have cute little hand puppets from The Simple Folk that would make really cute Easter basket, like little gifts as well. But we already own two of those and I didn't want to wait for more things to come in, you know? Oh, speaking of more things to come in, 
I got my daughter these cute little clips. I'll put it up here for her hair, little bows and clips from this company called Little Marshmallow, I believe. It is an Australian small shop and they are still in Australia. So I was not able to have those for the, this video, unfortunately. But I wanted to share with you guys before it's already getting super into March. And yeah, so those will be here soon and those are cute and I know she's gonna love those because she likes anything that's like accessory and girly and she'll love those. So that's what those look like. I didn't make it for the video. Okay, and then something else that I got them were these really fun cup and veil is what it's called. Cup and veil House of Marbles. I got these actually off of Amazon. And I thought these were so cool. I remember these as a kid where they have the ball and the cup and you're trying to like, <laughs> you're trying to get it in. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a challenge. But I remember these from when I was a kid. Can I get like, <laughs> they're gonna enjoy this. Cause I'm already, ah, I got it. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun with these. So they each got one of these little games. And I remember these when I was a little kid and they were much fun. So happy to pass that on to them. On to some little treats that I thought were fun were these classic jelly beans in a carrot little pouch. I got these from World Market and I think they're gonna like them. We always got jelly beans as a kid. It was always a tradition. You could always look forward to, in my childhood, tons and tons of jelly beans which i wasn't a huge fan of as a kid i really like them now only certain flavors though and so i thought like you gotta have the jelly beans right i don't think i've done jelly beans in the past and i know my kids like them now because every time they're always every time we go to the store they're always wanting the jelly belly little dispensers and get their own jelly belly so i thought that would be fun to give them these because i know they like them so yeah and they're in the shape of the carrot how cute is that how fun is that? And then I got them each a chocolate bar. So these are gonna be the only treats they get. So this one's a pink pink bar with sprinkles and this one is a white chocolate bar with sprinkles. So yeah, just cute little candy bars and these were from World Market. Yeah, very, very cute. So those will be like their only little sweet treats that they get in their baskets this year. The other thing that I got, so my daughter got the little clips because I know she likes accessories. And then my son, I got him, but they are these cute little wooden binoculars. And my kids love the outdoors, so I know that he's gonna really, <laughs> I know that he's really gonna like these. And I thought they would be so fun and they come with like a cute little strap, so cute little Easter basket gift and my daughter will get the clips and the bows and stuff like that. So I thought that would be a lot of fun. Anyways, that's all that I got them for their Easter baskets this year. Let's put them together and then I'm gonna store them away for a little bit so that way they don't see them too early. But I think they're gonna like all their stuff. And just keep in mind your Easter baskets do not have to be fancy. You do not need to spend a lot of money. I love to support small shops as much as possible but we all know it gets expensive. So yeah, your kids are gonna love, honestly, whatever you give them. So I wouldn't even stress about a fancy Easter basket. I feel like being very intentional is what matters the most when it comes to gifting your kids any kind of gift, is just being intentional and knowing what they'll like and giving them, you know, good, decent quality stuff. But um, yeah, let's put them together. <laughs>